Two weeks ago, we told you about the Colors Plus LGBTQ Youth Center opening in Fairview Park. And now police are looking for the person who smashed its windows and left racist graffiti all over the building. Brandon Simmons has a surveillance video. Police hope leads to an arrest. Sad, disappointed, enraged. But most of all, we just want to make sure that we're fighting for youth and making sure that they have safe spaces. Kristen Prepera described what staff and volunteers at Colors Plus LGBTQ Youth Center are feeling as they cleaned up broken glass and wiped away racist graffiti left behind by a vandal early Friday morning. Preliminary investigation shows that this uh, coward acted alone and used the color of darkness and a mask and a hat to conceal their identity. The lone vandal caught by surveillance cameras, although he was wearing a hat and mask. He can be seen pacing back and forth for several minutes, spray painting the building. Eventually, just out of frame, he uses a brick to smash a window. Well, behind it was a Black Lives Matter flag, and because of the nature of the graffiti, uh, it would lend that this was a, a hate crime based on race. Colors Plus opened just two weeks ago, wanting a more accessible location for youth the organization supports. Sadly, they also understood the risks involved. We knew this was a possibility with being this visible, um, and um, we wanted to make sure that all youth know, black, trans, and LGBTQ youth, that they matter, and we are here, and we are not going to go anywhere. And the vast majority of people in Fairview Park are showing their support not letting one bad person represent the thousands who do good. People who live in the city, who work in the city, who serve the residents of the city, don't condone this or accept this or tolerate this. If you have any idea who the bad apple is, don't hesitate to contact Fairview Park Police. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.